Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, the fly that I'm going to be tying up today is the war pig squalor. All right, so we're going to start out with a uh, 2x hopper hook, size 8. Uh, I've taken and put a bend about a third of the way down the hook. Take my thread. Pretty light thread on this one, like 14, 12 or 14 on it. I'm going to bring the thread all the way back down to the to the bend of the hook. It's important to get way back down here because this fly is kind of a has a lot on the back end of it. So I'm going to get right to the very bend of the hook. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of ice ice dub peacock black. So we can make the uh, egg sac on the squala here. You want this to be dubbed on here pretty tight so it doesn't come undone. Kind of keep working at it till you get a just a nice round ball. I'm gonna take and X wrap this over the top just for some more durability. So when you catch fish on this fly, it doesn't tear the dubbing ball out. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a fine brown rubber leg, split it in half, and we're gonna go just above this little egg sack that we made here. Tie it tight right up to the egg sack here. You can either wrap this extra in or cut it off, whatever you want to do. Either one is sufficient. I'm going to go all the way back up past the bend that I made the hook here. Probably an eighth of an inch past the bend take a piece of two mil olive foam here cut a little wedge in it and we're going to take that and start it tie it in right here just going to kind of work this back I'm going to make nice little segments on the body here You want to go back as far as you can, right up against the egg sac there. Don't worry about your legs here. You, know, you can adjust them later on. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some dark green. This is the uh, SLF squirrel dub. But it's primarily just one of the primary dubbings I use now. So it's a great dubbing. <clears throat> you don't want the super bulky, so... You know, it's okay to start with less. You can always add if there's not enough. So, we'll start right here at these legs. Our first wrap here. And we're just going to fill in each segment, two wraps, as we go. So we're there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of 2 mil gray foam and cut a little wedge in it. So you got almost like a, this is going to emulate a wing. So we want to cut this about an inch long. It's okay to have it a little long. You can cut it off. So we're going to lay this right over the top of the segment we just made. You want to get this back as far as you can get it because there's going to be two more 
two more pieces of foam forward of this so it's important to get that thing back and get it back tight against that back half of the fly so you have room for everything. Just gonna work this foam in here. Get everything secured in here real nice. Take just a little tiny bit of glue just to keep everything from moving around. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the gray SLF squirrel dub. <clears throat> We're going to split the difference between the front of this piece of foam and the wings. We'll go ahead and tie in our legs here. Fine brown rubber legs again up here. <clears throat> One on each side. They don't have to be perfect. You can reorient them once you tie in your next bits of foam. So next piece of material that we're going to use is a piece of one mil olive foam. We're going to stack this right on top of everything here in the front. A little glue just to keep everything down good. So this you want to make it to where it's going to be forward. You're going to cut the wedge out of that, this piece of foam, a little bit more so it'll splay out just a little bit past the first one that we tied in here. Same thing, next thing, our third wing here. We're cutting these little these little notches in these wings a little bit deeper on each one that way they're going to splay out a little bit further than the one before it so start kind of shallow and then you get them to where they they splay out a little bit more on each one which is what we're trying to accomplish here okay take another rubber leg here. I'm just going to lay this right on top, fold it in half. This is going to be our antennas. Get them situated here where they're nice and even, straight going this direction. <clears throat> Take another little drop of glue and hit that. last piece of foam here that we're going to put on this bright color this is going to be our indicator piece so it's a color that we're going to want to visually show up well whatever you prefer secure that in good like i said don't don't get too concerned with all this extra here because we'll come through now and just kind of cut everything cut everything where it needs to be so want to make sure to watch for your legs and antennas so you don't chop them off. So we've cut all three of these pieces the same. Last thing we're going to do is cut this off. We're going to cut this a little shorter than the other ones. Get our antennas right where they need to be here. This doesn't matter. You could leave this long as long as it isn't sticking out past the wings. I'm just going to trim it up just because. So last thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit more of this gray dubbing here just cover up our thread so everything's clean underneath so 
I'm going to turn your fly up so you make sure you got everything good. Last thing I'm going to do is going to whip finish. Kind of reorient everything here. Final trim up here. Get our legs cut to length. Alright, there you have it. Poor pig squala.